I don't know. Almost three feet? Yeah. And we're also adding the head on to it. It's and only the body. And the legs? And the legs. That's I don't even thing. know how we're gonna get it up on its legs. I think we have to get a crank on. Yeah, I think so. We gotta have to call it high. Let's call stand it. this thing up for us. Once, it's, once we get the, the I base of it. it over by one. No, I know. So, how are we gonna set it up? Like? I don't think there's anything like this done in Norway ever. Well, here we are in beautiful Norway. Gonna start on this huge project behind me. It's much taller than me, so it's quite intimidating, but I think I've got this. Got a few lines there, already marked out some muscle structure, but that's for me to know and you to find out later. And it's gonna be awesome! Woo! So super awesome! Ooh, nice booby grab. So I'm getting started with day one, and I've already marked out a few of the bone and muscle lines on, on the big sculpture there. And it kind of dictates where I'm going to take uh, the chainsaw and dig into the wood. Like, how are you gonna fit the rest of the the rest of this thing in those other logs? Where are the legs gonna come from? Yeah, because it's humongous. Ooh, where's the head gonna come from? <laughs> I mean, obviously, some of this compares to that body. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I don't like that. I think we're gonna get stuck with just using what we got. Jordan says it'll be fine, but I'm not. Sure. He always says. Yeah, I know. I know. He also said he could make this in three days. Yeah. <laughs> Well, guess what? <laughs> Rome wasn't built in a day. <laughs> guess what? Day three, today. <laughs> After looking at all the wood that we had, and uh, it looked really great at the start, but then uh, as I got going with the piece, I noticed that uh, one of the logs had to be used for both the head and the antlers, so that moved me to use a piece I didn't really want to use for the uh, hind legs, but uh, it ended up working out really good because the contour and the fur lines will hide the seams and then uh, I ended up uh, gluing it together, screwing it and uh, making it structurally sound and that way you know uh, it didn't really matter what type of wood you used. 